about water, pollution and conservation Production and distribution, wasa get in the know How about the dry season plan, and watershed management Tell us, Tell us about transmission, wasa get in the know Wasa's National Secondary School Quiz Competition, in the know with H2O Wasa get in the know with H2O Wasa, water security for every sector The cream of the crop. Three schools have already qualified for the semi-finals. There is room for only one more. Today we'll find out which of these two schools is going to stake their claim and progress to the next round. Good afternoon, I'm Vernon Ramis, and it's my pleasure to have you here with us yet again for Wasser's National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the Mill with H2O, being broadcast live from Wasser's Public Education Centre, St. Joseph, as we move closer to identifying our final four. This is it, the journey is almost complete. Who will round off the qualifiers of the semi-final round? The three schools already through to the semis are Miracle Ministries Pentecostal High School, Bishops High School, Tobago, and Faisabad Anglican Secondary School. Let's get on with the show. Here are the rules. During rounds one to four, students are restricted from communicating with each other. During round five, students can collaborate. For rounds one to four, student one will answer question one alone, student two answer question two, and so on. If any other student is found answering another's question, the student will be disqualified. Round 5 offers team questions, and hence, the answer can be discussed. 100 points are awarded to all correct answers. 0 points will be awarded if the answer is incorrect. If the answer is partially correct, the judges will decide to appoint any portion of 100 points, or ask for clarification towards awarding the total of 100. Teams can earn a maximum of 2,000 points, that is 20 questions times 100 points. If a team is asked a question and does not answer it correctly, the answer will be handed over to the other team to answer. If the second team answers correctly, they are awarded 50 points, that is half the points. If the answer is unclear, partially correct or requires qualifying, the judges will ask for clarification and award marks according to their collective decisions. Questions for the quiz will fall under five categories, which are History of Wasa and Water Water Facts, Conservation and Watershed Management Water Pollution Water Treatment, Distribution and Transmission and Wasa's Dry Season Plan for 2011 And of course, the judge's decision is final. Our judges are all Wasa professionals. The task at hand is a monumental one, one that takes much concentration and teamwork much like the one faced by the participating schools. Our judges are Head Judge, Alan Poon King, General Manager Projects. <laughs> Melissa Lechmedial, Industrial Hygienist. <laughs> and Roger Karim, Environmentalist. <laughs> Viewers, you can get in on the action as well and win fabulous prizes by answering a couple of easy questions that will appear on the screen. Simply text the keyword Q1 for question 1 or Q2 for question 2, leave a space, then your answer either A, B, C or D, another space followed by your name. Send it to the number 4913 from your cell phone. The winner will be announced at the end of the program. And what's in store for the winner of this competition? Well, whichever school comes out victorious at the end of this quiz will get, among other individual prizes, $100,000 cash for their school. Also on the table are the ultimate bragging rights of being the first champion of Wasser's National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the know with H2O. These schools are already poised to take up the mantle and one of them, the remaining two schools, stand the chance as well. But it all depends on how much they know about H2O. No pressure. That being said, congratulations on making it this far in the competition. Today, Bishop Anstey High School takes on Southeast Port of Spain Secondary School. The team captain will now take center stage and introduce us to the members of their respective teams. Shanice Simmons of Bishop Anstey High, please introduce your teammates. My teammates are Daniela James, Daniela Townsend and Shari Petty. Congratulations, thank you. And Afalusa Hector of Southeast Port of Spain, who are your teammates? And our team we have, Tanya Wilshire, Shona Mills and Mikiel Mitchell. Welcome to all of you. Now that we know the rules, the judges, the prizes and the teams, we're just about ready to start the quiz. 
Well, not quite. We need to take a break. Watson's National Secondary Schools quiz in the know with H2O. We'll be right back. Keep it here on C. It's live as here on sea, Watson's informative National Secondary Schools quiz competition on the water sector, in the know with H2O. If you've just joined us, you're in time for the start of round one. Let's get an outline of the categories again. History of Wasa and the water sector. Water facts, conservation and watershed management. Water pollution. Water treatment, distribution and transmission. And Wasa's dry season plan, 2011. It's about time we start the competition. After five rounds, we'll know which one of these two schools makes it. Here's round one on the history of Wasa and the water sector. This first question is for participant one in both teams. What was Wasa's daily water production in September 1965? Bishop Anstey. Um, the daily water production in September 1965 was 45 MGDs. That is correct. <laughs> Question two now for participant two on both teams. In what year was the Central Water Board formed? Bishop Anstey. The Central Water Board was formed in 1938. That is not correct. Okay. 1935. That is correct. Participant three of both teams now. What year was Wasser's first rate payment center in Tobago established? Bishop Anstey. The rate payment center in Tobago was established in 1951. No. That is not the answer I have. Southeast Port of Spain. Take, care to take a guess. 1943? No, the answer is 1970. Much more recent. Question four now for participant four of both teams. In what year did the Inter-American Development Bank, the IADB, grant WASA $7.6 million to improve the water supply system in Trinidad and Tobago? Southeast Port of Spain. 1972. That is correct. We move forward to round two now on water facts, conservation, and watershed management. Participant one of both teams. What is the range of water usage when taking a 10 minute shower if the tap is left on? Southeast Port of Spain. 25 to 50 gallons. That is correct. <laughs> Question two now for participant two in both teams. What is the range of water usage when brushing your teeth if the tap... Bishop Anstey. Four million gallons. That is incorrect. That would be a lot of water. Let's go to the southeast port of Spain. Two to four gallons. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Judges? Um, for brushing your teeth, um, two to four gallons. The answer is partially correct. We'll award half the marks. Congratulations. The actual range is three to five gallons. Question three now for participants three in both teams. Identify four elements associated with watershed management. Southeast Port of Spain. Um, water supply, water quality, surface water runoff, and um, overall utilization and uh, planning of the watershed management functions. Judges? Yes, yes correct. Congratulations. 
But let's win four now on both teams. Which is the largest hydrometric region in Trinidad and Tobago and give it size in square kilometers? Southeast Port of Spain. Kearney and One hundred and sixty eight kilometers squared kilometers. Judges. The answer is partially right, we'll get fifty points. Congratulations. <laughs> the answer is in fact Carony, of course, and it is one thousand and ten come up square square kilometers. Thanks for staying with us. The scores and so much more await you in Wasser's National Secondary Schools quiz in the know with H2O returns.